Hey, I'm Corbin Peterson and welcome to Corbin Reviews. Like I promised in my intro video, I was gonna go through my entire Blu-ray collection. So let's get this started. I don't really have much of anything in a specific order. I haven't alphabetized anything at the moment. Um, if there is a series, I'll probably show you that whole series. I, it'll take a while to talk about every single individual movie. So I'm just gonna do like a brief run through of something. Or if there's really nothing really to talk about, I'm just gonna show you it. And here we go. Uh, first off, we have Daredevil, Elektra, and A League of an Extraordinary Gentleman. Uh, I actually do like the director's cut of Daredevil. It's actually a pretty solid movie. Just get the theatrical version out of your head. Um, don't really have to say anything about the other two because this movie made Sean Connery quit acting. Uh, then you have the Blade trilogy, which is Blade, Blade 2, and Blade Trinity. Uh, probably one of the best hard R comic book movies. This is pretty much Deadpool before Deadpool. And... These other ones are okay. Third one actually sucks. Uh, here we got Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. I uh, got the first one that's probably one of the best comic book origin stories. And then you got the second one who's probably one of the best comic book movies, period. And then you got the third one. Mm -hmm. Amazing Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, this I actually did enjoy when I saw it for the first time. Uh, that's why I went and I saw the second one, but I'm kind of a completionist. Uh, so if I have one of the movies, most likely I'll have pretty much all the sequels. But good movie, crap movie. Here, see if I can fit them all in one hand. I have all the X-Men movies. I have X-Men, X-Men 2 United, X-Men Last Stand, X-Men Orange Origins Wolverine. <laughs> I feel bad that I own that one. Uh, I got X-Men First Class, The Wolverine, X-Men Days of Future Past, The Rogue Cut. And then you got Deadpool, which was absolutely amazing. And then X-Men Apocalypse, which really not a lot of people like, but, you know, I did enjoy it. I don't like the crap on a whole lot of movies. I have the complete Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I should have to run through all these quick. I won't really tell you, say much about them. Other than you got Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, uh, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, First Avenger, The Avengers, Iron Man 3, Thor, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Age of Ultron, I got Ant-Man, Civil War, and then Doctor Strange, which was actually really cool, and it's really trippy to watch, and especially have, if you have like a big TV or go see an IMAX, holy crap. Now, this is actually another uh, a collector set. It has uh, five movies in it. It has The Punisher, Sin City, Kick-Ass, and The Spirit. And then also you have The Crow, which is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I just absolutely enjoy this movie. But then I got 300. Uh, Zack Snyder is a great visual director. I'm pretty sure I'll be talking a lot about Zack Snyder in the future. Kingsman and the Secret Service, which was a really cool sleeper hit that not too many people saw in theaters, but it got a pretty big following. All the Star Wars films, uh, I got one I got one through six on here, and then I got The Force Awakens. And then we got Pacific Rim. Here I picked all these up on Amazon. This is the complete Harry Potter collection. Not really the biggest Harry Potter fan, but I do enjoy the movies. I never really read the books. Ted and Ted 2. Good combo pack. For some reason, I have Newsies. I watched this in high school, and for some reason, I absolutely loved Christian Bale singing, so it was Batman singing. Nacho Libre, uh, I bought this movie to impress a girl. For for some reason, she said that this was her favorite movie, so I bought it, so we watched it. And then, you know, a few weeks later, she stopped seeing me, so yeah, screw you, Nacho Libre. Princess Bride, probably one of the best complete movies ever. Christmas Vacation, probably the best Christmas movie ever. Uh, this is uh, one that my family watches every Christmas, and I make sure I don't miss it. Uh, Tropic Thunder, which is a very funny movie. Uh, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. is absolutely amazing. Elf, which is one of the other best Christmas movies. I get The Martian. I've probably seen this movie, you know, probably 30 times or so. Um, I do have a Boondock Saints tattoo on my ribs, so that kind of shows how much I love the movie. And then you have uh, the sequel, All Saints Day, even though it's not even close to as good as the first. It has a lot of, uh, a lot of the same stuff and reasons why you really love the first one. Quentin Tarantino's Hateful Eight. Roadhouse. And then I got both the Ninja Turtle movies. Uh, I just absolutely love uh, the Ninja Turtles and I was excited when these movies first did come out. Uh, but you know, there's a little bit of disappointment, but since they're the Turtles, I kind of actually like them. Get Ghost in the Shell. The new movie comes out soon. The new live action movie comes out. So I'm kind of excited to see that one. We got Expendables 3, 22 Jump Street, Whiplash, uh, which I thought should have won Best Picture that year. Uh, then I got the complete Rambo collection. Did you first blood, not me. 
bad semesters long. Ayo Miyazaki's Princess Mononoke, 21 Jump Street, The Cornetto Trilogy, World's End, Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, 40 Year Old Virgin, the first three live action Ninja Turtle movies. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. Then you got the animated one, Lego Movie. Very underrated movie that people not too many saw, Ex Machina, all of BBC Sherlock. And these are very kind of cool like sleeper action movies. Uh, I love Scott Adkins, he's probably my favorite action star. And these movies are awesome. I actually wanted him to be Batman, but that didn't really happen. Inception. I gotta return some videotapes. American Psycho. Then the Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Sherlock movies, directed by Guy Ritchie. And then I have all the Transformers movies. Uh, since the first one is awesome, I did buy the other three to complete the set. The Riddick Trilogy, probably one of the most unrated sci-fi horror movies. Then I got the other ones. Fury, Southpaw, Warcraft. All seven Fast and Furious movies. For some reason, this franchise just keeps getting better. So I'm excited for the new one to come out. All four Pirates movies, Rocky one through six. Uh, these were very uh, inspirational to me growing up and holding your, holding your uh, piece of my heart. And then you got Creed, director's cut of The Expendables, Crank and Crank 2. And then you have The Shallows, which is actually really surprising. That was This is a movie that really actually surprised me and I'm happy that I own it. Wolf of Wall Street, my favorite romantic comedy that's not a romantic comedy. That doesn't really make sense. In Bruges, uh, probably Colin Farrell's best performance. Watch this movie. Then you got Black Mass, Spy. Uh, this is probably the only movie that I like Melissa McCarthy in because she's kind of annoying, loud, and not funny. Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights. Troy. You don't talk about it. Uh, Undisputed 3 again. Scott Adkins. Absolutely amazing. This is an awesome, you know, martial arts movie. Check that out. Since Bill Paxton recently passed away, I, I saw some Best Buy and I just had to get it. So Twister. Public Enemies. The Departed. Gladiator. LA Confidential. Probably one of my favorite, you know, neo-noir films. Step Brothers. I'm a big fan of Linkin Park, so I got Linkin Park's Blu-ray, uh, Road to Revolution. And here I got Jurassic World. Wow, now all the rest of the movies are over here. Maybe he used magic. Okay, going on. Batman the movie, Batman 66 the movie, Batman, Batman Returns, and Batman Forever. Um, I'm not missing one, I promise. Then I got the Dark Knight trilogy. Uh, Dark Knight, best comic book movie of all time. Pretty simple. Here I got a few animated movies. I got... Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker, Justice League War, and Justice League Doom. The Flashpoint Paradox, watch that. And Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. Superman the movie, Superman 2, and then Superman Returns. Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, which I, for some reason, I just absolutely love this movie. I know a lot of people don't. Then I have Batman v Superman, Donna Justice. This is the Collector Still book, which is actually really cool because it has both of them on each side. Um, this is the Ultimate Edition, and it is way better than the original, the theatrical release. Watch it. Then I have another movie that angered a lot of people. Got Suicide Squad, Steel Book, really cool. Batman Under the Red Hood. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Deluxe Edition. This is one and two put together. Batman Assault on Arkham. Son of Batman. Batman vs. Robin. Batman The Killing Joke. It's... Then I got Justice League Dark. Uh, like I said, I'm a wrestling fan. I got Sting, the best of Sting. Here I got three more movies. I got V for Vendetta, Watchmen, and Constantine. This is my best original screenplay, uh, Good Will Hunting. Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Snatch, Drive. Uh, looks like I got four Will Ferrell movies. Uh, old School, The Campaign, Blades of Glory, and Semi-Pro. Need for Speed, dumb action movie, I don't care. And then Grudge Match because, you know, it's the long boxing. And Robert De Niro. Snowpiercer, very underwatched movie and underappreciated movie. This movie is absolutely amazing. I know a lot of people don't like it, but watch it. Seven, Clerks, probably one of the most influential movies in my life. Uh, this is the style that I pretty much shoot when I make my own stuff. The Patriot, uh, Neighbors 2, Drag Me to Hell. If you love Evil Dead, you'll love this movie. Directed by Sam Raimi. High Fidelity, amazing. I am an FBI agent. Point Break. Sometimes you gotta buy a bad movie to get the good movie. Crazy Stupid Love is the good movie. Then I sh for schmucks. John Wick. Super bad. Watched this with my parents when I was probably 15 years old in the drive-in in the car. Fairly awkward. Knocked up. This is 40. The First Neighbors. Uh, Raw, the after show. Here I got all three extended versions of the Hobbit movies. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty epic, ain't it? Uh, Lord of the Rings, all the extended versions. I just got done watching all these again. It's an amazing journey every time I go on it. The best TV show of all time. I got all six seasons of Game of Thrones on Blu-ray. We're getting there, I promise. We're almost done. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Shane Black, awesome. Horrible Bosses, Hercules with The Rock. This is the end. Braveheart, awesome epic. The Revenant, 
50, stay above 50. Crime is the disease, meet the cure. This was actually a pretty decent surprise, Mel Gibson and Blofather, watch that. Bill and Ted, Peter Jackson's King Kong, Godzilla with Godzilla Barely Unit, The Last Samurai, two of the most awesome fun action movies, The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. We got all the Evil Dead movies. Uh, the reboot is actually really, really awesome, check that out. Expendables 2, Pineapple Express, Predator and Predator 2, got Warrior. Probably one of my favorite comedies. I watched this over and over because it is so freaking relatable to me because I really don't have many friends. <laughs> Gone Girl, San Andreas, It Follows, a very surprising horror flick. Check that out. Mad Max Fury Road. Once, uh, yeah, a lot of people really haven't seen this movie. Uh, John Carney directed it. It's probably one of my favorite. No, it's not really a musical, it just has music in it. So the music in this is absolutely amazing. The Matrix Trilogy, Hugo. Got the man from Uncle. I got Crimson's Peak. That's kind of disappointing. It's not really the most scariest thing, but it actually just looks amazing. New Magnificent Seven. We're getting there. Almost done. Last row. Uh, the Accountant with Ben Affleck. The Nice Guys. Absolutely amazing. Like I said, Shane Black. Awesome. Check it out. Not too many people watched it. Hacksaw Ridge. The Replacements. Kill Bill and Kill Bill Volume 2. Legend. The remake of 310 to Yuma with Russell Crowe and Christian Bale. The Imitation Game, I uh, got Haywire. Uh, this is directed by Steven Soderbergh. Uh, I don't think too many people saw this either. Uh, Gina Carano, you know, former MMA star. She was in Deadpool and Fast Six, uh, and she's very pretty. So it's actually a really good action movie. Nocturnal Animals, Arrival. Probably one of the most real representations of a teen in the edge of 17. Check that out. And then Sing Street, this is also directed by John Carney, who did Once. Uh, probably some of the best music that you'll ever see in a movie watch it please watch it the last thing that i'll highlight i have batman the complete classic batman collection the batman 66 show that my mom got me for christmas thank you mom and yeah so that is everything i went through every blu-ray that i own feel free to count as many that i have because uh, i really don't want to but yeah like share and subscribe uh movie reviews coming soon power rangers will be up and yeah i'll catch you all later